Hello, welcome. Um, in this question, usually I would tell you to pause the video, try on your own, and then press play, but you can't actually see the whole question here. So maybe mute it and fast forward and pause so you can see different parts of the question, but try it out on your own and then we can solve it together. Now, here they're saying which graph has the following characteristics. So these are the characteristics, right? And the first one says that there are three real zeros, which is a way of saying it has three x-intercepts. A zero is when the output is zero, when the height is zero. It's an x-intercept. So what x-values give a height of zero? So for example, on this graph, I see one zero, two, and then three. So that's OK. One, two, and three. And then if I scroll down to the other ones here, they have one, two, three. These are all zeros, different x values when the heights are zero. One, two, three. So they all have three real zeros. OK, there can be complex zeros, zeros <coughs> that are not on the real plane, but we're not dealing with that here. So that checks out for all of them. This says, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. And as x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches positive infinity. So what does that mean? Well, as x approaches negative infinity, actually, let me write this down here. The first graph is x approaches negative infinity. That's saying as x gets less and less and less, so we extend this pattern here. It looks like this function, the outputs would approach f of x is the, are the outputs, and that would rep approach positive infinity. It's climbing up and up and up. And then over here, as x approaches positive infinity, right, as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this graph, the outputs are going to approach negative infinity, right? But this graph doesn't match the requirements. It says as x approaches negative infinity, so do the outputs. But the opposite happens here. This graph climbs as x approaches negative infinity, so we can cross that off. And also, it doesn't match this requirement here. It turns out that in graph 3, the outputs are decreasing as x approaches negative infinity, which checks off here. And x approach, uh, the outputs approach positive infinity as x approaches positive infinity, which is what is happening here. So that's our requirement. Right, it matches everything, and that's that's our answer. So, but let's look at the other ones just to make sense of it. In choice two, as x approaches positive infinity, what's happening? The outputs f of x is they're climbing as well, so they approach positive infinity as well, and that that maps out. But here in choice two, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x, what does it do? What does f of x approach? Well, as we approach negative infinity on x. The, the graph climbs, so it approaches the outputs, approach positive infinity, which is not what we're looking for here. It's approached, supposed to also approach negative infinity. And then the last one is x approaches infinity. f of x approaches negative infinity, which is not what we want. And as x approaches negative infinity, f of x also approaches negative infinity. So I just want you to see what the this is all about end behavior, if you want to look up more about that of a polynomial. So I wanted to see what that looks like. All right, hope that helped.